This demonstration will go over the steps of how to insert a Google Calendar on a Google Sites page. So the first thing I'd like to go over, uh, which some of you are aware, and you, or some of you might not be, is that whenever you have a uh, Google Classroom, on the back end, you'll see a um, calendar that's associated with this class in Google Calendar. So I wanted to go over what it looks like when you post an assignment and how that assignment gets um, embedded into the calendar. And then the calendar, of course, gets put on your Google site. So I have a mock uh, assignment here. I've, I've uh, added, I'm going to add a quick topic to this and just call it demo assignment. And I also am going to put in a due date. Uh, this is important because the due dates, especially for, I, I use this a lot for middle school students and upper elementary. Um, when you assign it, it also tells them when that assignment is due. So I'm going to say that the assignment is due tomorrow. I want to show you what it looks like when it's posted on the Google Calendar. And then, of course, I'm going to go to assign. Um, this is going to be assigning this assignment for the students that are in this class. Uh, this is a test class that I have that my uh, children are in. Um, so they'll get this assignment next time they log in. If I go to my calendar, and I could do this by typing in calendar.google.com, or I could go to the app waffle and bring myself right to calendar, um, you'll see that it was assigned uh, and due on the 12th. Okay. Um, you'll see that the assignment, how was your weekend, is assigned here. There's no time that's associated with it. It's just listed that it is due on that date. That would be, of course, the calendar, which would be the uh, test calendar, um, which is created by this course, which I added to Google Classroom. So now how do I get this onto my Google site? What I can do is, is I can go down to the insert menu and I click on calendar. It then brings up my calendar menu. These are all the calendars that I subscribe to, as well as all the Google Calendar classes, um, the Google Classroom calendars that have been created when I created a class. So I'm going to look for that, that course that we started with, again, listed alphabetically, Mr. Vitale 2019-2020, uh, and I'm then going to insert that calendar. You can insert multiple calendars. Um, you have to play around with how uh, you like things to look. You also have different views that you could insert and what it defaults to. So I'm just going to center this very quickly, um, and then I'm going to go up to the settings wheel, and I want to change the view in the settings to week. Um, and I'm then going to click done. Now you'll notice here that it has the current week's schedule. It does not show the current assignment. Okay. Um, but next week, when we go to next week, it'll be posted there. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to tap on preview and it's going to give us a preview of what the calendar is going to look like. If I go forward one week, you're going to see that there's an assignment there. A student can click on it and it'll tell them exactly what to do. It'll also, um, they could also copy and paste this link. Um, it's already on their calendar. And when a student subscribes to a class in Google Classroom, they also subscribe to the calendar. So it's another way for them to stay organized. And you can use this as a calendar for assignments um, for the upcoming school year. So that's how you can embed a calendar into Google Calendar, uh, into Google Sites. Um, please play around with it. You can do multiple pages. Um, if I had a block three class, I would put the calendar for block three on my block three page. Um, and you also can play around with the settings and how you'd like your calendar to look for your students when they log on to your Google site. Any questions, reach out to um, one of the Google certified trainers, as well as your tech liaisons in your buildings.